Hey everyone, welcome to day one, your dog's favorite training challenge. Today we're going to be focusing on targeting. Targeting in dog training refers to teaching a dog how to move a specific part of their body towards a designated target location in the environment. If that sounds general, that's because targeting is a foundation skill that can be used to teach a wide variety of different behaviors. For example, the first kind of targeting that we usually teach is a hand target, where we ask the dog to move their nose into the flat palm of a person's hand. However, you can also teach paw targeting, where you ask the dog to teach on a tape square on the floor. You can teach hip targeting, where you ask the dog to move their hip into a wall, or chin targeting, where you teach the dog how to hold their chin in a person's hand for an extended duration of time. Different kinds of targeting can have a wide variety of different purposes, but we often start with hand targeting because dogs will naturally want to investigate things with their noses. If we teach the dog to move their nose into a hand, we can begin to connect this idea of following the target to different locations, turning in different directions when the target moves, and moving at different speeds as the target does. When the dog understands how to follow the target, we can start to teach a wider variety of behaviors. If your dog has a long history of hand targeting, then you can skip our touch tutorial and move directly ahead to see how you're going to play the tag game with your dog. If you're brand new to targeting, then watch our touch tutorial next to see how exactly you can teach your dog to understand a hand target. In order to set yourself up for success during this training challenge, we strongly recommend that you utilize mark and reward training. If you're already familiar with clicker training, that's exactly what we're talking about. If this is a new concept for you, don't worry, it's very simple to teach. What it involves is teaching your dog that there is a specific sound, or in the case of deaf dogs, a visual signal that tells them that they've done the behavior correctly. We follow that up with a functional reinforcer, a treat or a toy, anything that your dog is willing to work for, so that we can more easily explain to them that they've done something right. To begin teaching touch, first hold your hand about 8 to 10 inches away from your dog's face. Mark as soon as they make contact and then reward. Yes. Yes. When your dog is consistently touching your hand, you can add the verbal cue, touch. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. As your dog is successful, practice with your hand at varying distances. Presenting a smaller target can be more comfortable for smaller dogs, while a flat, open palm might be easier for larger dogs. Touch. Yes. If your dog already knows the cue for touch, we can turn it into a fun game of tag. Touch. Yes. When you ask your dog for a touch, keep your hand steady. The dog should be moving his head towards your hand rather than your hand moving towards the dog. If your dog hesitates to touch your hand, try one of these following options. Rewarding when they look at your hand. Rewarding when they start to move towards your hand. Rubbing your palm with some stinky treats to entice them to move towards your hand. And taking your hand away and then resetting. First enrichment project is a towel burrito. This is one of my favorite projects to give Fredo, and I hope that you guys really pull out all the stops and get creative with this as well. Just like any good burrito, there is no reason to hold back here. If your dog is willing to solve a complicated project, then feel free to go big and go complicated. If this is brand new for your dog, you may want to keep it a little bit more simple and start with just treats under the towel, which will demonstrate for you. To build your burrito, 
start with whatever treats your dog will like most. I have a few dry treats that I'm going to use for Fredo today. Place the treats on your towel and begin to tightly roll it. Every few rolls, I'm going to place another treat. Once your towel is completely rolled, you can choose whether you're going to either give it to your dog this way or if you want to continue to expand on your creativity with this project. Are you ready? Get it. If your dog hasn't had very many opportunities to do this kind of enrichment project, you might want to start with this easier version. Simply place a flat towel over a treat on the ground. Remember, there is no right or wrong way to enjoy enrichment. Allow your dog to get creative. It's okay if he picks the towel up and shakes it, or tosses it around, or does something else completely unexpected. Now it's your turn. Post your training and enrichment photos and videos to the Facebook group page. You'll earn points towards your dog's favorite training challenge.